if you think about it, really, what's happening right now is historical. And it's historical when you think about this in the sense that we have never done this before. In other words, as you probably know, this is the first time Dr. Kaplan and I have ever done a video conference live, and especially at night. So number one, we thank all of you for joining us during these special times. We've got some special content for you and definitely some special things that you want to be aware of right now. So we're making history, and at the same time, you're making history. And the reason that you're making history is because of the simple fact that the way you are practicing now and the way you'll be practicing maybe over the next few weeks and much longer will be different. So the purpose of this video conference was to be able to give you some action steps, to be able to position yourself, reposition yourself, restructure, reframe, refocus, re-energize, re-embrace everything that's important. So we're gonna go over kind of bullet points tonight that you need to put into play like now, not like tomorrow or maybe tomorrow, but not past tomorrow. So if you were with us yesterday, we also made history yesterday. And the way we made history yesterday was actually that was the first video conference that Dr. Kaplan and I did together. And, the, and then we, we sent it out and the feedback that we got, I'm gonna tell you, was so profound, so heartfelt, so, I mean, like emotional, that I asked Dr. Kaplan if he'd be willing to do this at night. And he said emphatically, yes. He said, whatever it takes, I will do for our doctors. And that's what's so cool, because we get a chance to actually see a number of our inner circle doctors are actually on this video conference. Dr. Manson, I'm gonna talk about you tonight, brother, because you did something for our doctors. You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna talk about what you did for our doctors. Dr. Weymouth, Dr. Shockley, Dr. Scotty, Scotty Banks in Huntington, Long Island. What an amazing email that was. So we decided to do this. We're gonna pick it up from where we left off yesterday. And where we left off yesterday was the last question that I asked Dr. Kaplan yesterday, which really resonated with so many doctors. And what I did was I asked him about Jason. And if you don't know who Jason is, you're about to find out because Jason is really Dr. Jason Kaplan. And that is the son of Dr. Eric Kaplan. And what Dr. Eric Kaplan did was he went over some action steps that Dr. Jason is doing right now. So I think this is a great way to kick off tonight. And I'm gonna kick it back to you, Dr. Kaplan, if you could talk a little bit about, or a lot about, Dr. Jason Kaplan with respect to what he is doing right now to reposition, restructure, re-strategize his practice and himself. You know, Perry, it's, it's an amazing thing. First of all, seeing Bill Moyle is an amazing thing within <laughs> itself. But as I sit here and I talk to you today, you know, th there's an old saying that without action, a terrible thing happens. Nothing. And, you know, I'm an old school chiropractic guy. I've been in this business 40 years, maybe plus. And I will say it quite frankly, neither of my children were vaccinated uh, because we believed in immunity. And I sent out a letter that I will offer to every person on this. Do we call this a webinar? Do we call this an infomenar? Do we call this a, a video? I don't know what we call this, but in this video happening, let's call it just a video happening, anyone that wants the letter that we provided to all of our clinics about the history of chiropractic, which goes back to Dr. Perot. It goes back to the flu of 1917 and 1918, where studies show 
that chiropractic improves the immunity by 200%. That when they did the flu epidemic of 1970-1918, those that were in the chiropractic care had a 0.25% death rate versus 5% for people that didn't have chiropractic care. Now, that's an amazing thing. Now, I say that because here I am, and I told you this, and I'll get to Jason in a minute, a week ago, doctors, tonight, a week ago, right about now, matter of fact, another probably 20 minutes, I just got wheeled out of uh, surgery, and I was in recovery. So last Thursday, I actually had to have two surgeries. Now, listen, I was scared. I had to go to the hospital. They had to open me up. They had to lower my immunity even more. But what kept me strong was my faith in chiropractic. I get regular adjustments. My son, Jason Kaplan, who'd never been vaccinated. His wife, Stephanie Kaplan, uh, practices in Wellington. And, and we talk about this is really an opportunity for chiropractic. This is actually a time that many people have not thought about that, you know, are we just bone movers? Are we just back people? So I put together a letter that lets people know about the research of Dr. Perot, the research of 1917 and 18. It shows the death rate of those that had chiropractic care versus those that didn't. It shows how chiropractic improves your immunity. If we don't believe, doctors, that taking a hard bone off a soft nerve will improve the immunity, then really, what have we become? Have we become physical therapists? Have we become mechanics? I believe in chiropractic and every, my son came over, he adjusted me. I said, son, I don't want to come over, I don't want you to expose yourself because I was just exposed at the hospital. He said, dad, you're my father. Of course, I'm gonna adjust you. I wanna boost your immunity. So one of our clients, Dr. Michael Smith, I hope Michael's on tonight, uh, he put the letter on every chair in his waiting room. He put it out in his email. He provided free care, three, three, three free visits to any hospital worker, to any nurse, to any medical associate or assistant, to policemen and the firemen to say, we appreciate what you're doing and we are here for you. So who does he get a letter from? A Dr. Siniglia, who teaches at the University of Arkansas, who's been acknowledged by the CDC and the World Health Organization. And he said, what a phenomenal letter. This letter, only if Ken Hagen gives me his warm-up suit or gets me one comparable, is free to everybody who attends us here today. Why? Because you see, doctors, this is our chance. So here I am, seriously, a week post, Two surgeries. I had two surgeries done in one day. I mean, and I'm not a young kid. I'm not as old as Bill Moyle. <laughs> but, you know, who is? But I'll be 68 years old uh, in another month or so. And, and I'm here espousing the value of, of chiropractic, where researchers show that chiropractic can improve the immunity center by, by 200%. Now, if we don't embrace the philosophy, art, and the science, then we can't embrace the science, the art and philosophy of chiropractic. There are three types of doctors. Those that make things happen. Those that watch things happen. And those that say what happened. So you have a choice, doctors. You can be the reactive or proactive. Here I am tonight. Why am I sitting here doing this? Okay. I'm selling nothing. I, I, you know, all I get from this is the promotion of chiropractic. If we don't stand behind our profession now, we as leaders, as leaders, what are we doing? And I've always said there's three ways to lead. Anyone's ever heard me talk say, you lead one is by example, two is by example, and three is by example. If we don't step up and lead our profession and explain to the world that we are not really, shouldn't alternative care providers be the ones that are providing the highest risk? We provide the lowest level of risk. Shouldn't we be in the forefront of this? Shouldn't we be providing care? What a great time to align ourselves with the medical community, to say, come on in for free adjustments. We appreciate what you're doing. And providing the research with I give you in this letter. What a great time to, 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 to implement this to the first responders, to policemen, to firemen. Give them three visits. Let them come in. Let them get to know you. Winston Churchill said, you make a living by what you get, 
You make a life by what you give. So I ask you doctors, what are you giving? What are you giving? What do you want to give? Why are you here tonight? What can I do to make you better? When can I help you? Because it's always who, what, when, where, and how. How can you be a better doctor? Dr. B. So there, there's something that immediately jumped out at me. Immediately. And, and for those who, of you who don't know, I've been blessed to have Dr. Kaplan in my life, not for three weeks, not for three months, not for three years, but for 33 years. So tonight is historical in kind of the way that maybe almost like a fly on the wall, you kind of get a chance to see a little bit as to how we banter, how we communicate how we ping pong because there'll be certain things that he will say that to me resonate and they resonate with such power and they resonate with such force. And there was one word that you said that immediately to me, I don't know if you heard it. I think most of you did. The one word that jumped out was when you said the O word. And the O word actually stands for opportunity. And when I think of opportunity, I mean, let's, I think, I think when you look at, I think when you look at history, and I think that history is without question the greatest teacher of all. People that ignore history, unfortunately, are really. I could say it a lot of ways, but they're leaving it on the table. So history teaches us a number of things. One thing, who would have thought? I mean, let's roll the tape back a little bit. Put yourself, you know, Dr. Kaplan used to do this thing where he would say, <laughs> he would say, now you're in my time capsule. <laughs> you're in my spaceship. You're in my time capsule. Well, here's a funny thing. Let's roll the tape back a little bit. Who would have thought? four weeks ago, one or about three weeks, that if you were in the toilet paper business, imagine being in the toilet paper business. And by the way, for Dr. K, that cartoon you sent me, over the top, brother. <laughs> over the top. My, my belly hurt from, from, from that cartoon. And, and um, I won't talk about the cartoon, but what I will tell you is this. Who would have thought if you are in the home delivery business, that this would be an amazing opportunity. Who would have thought, case in point, we're home. I'm gonna talk about my day today. And part of my day today, believe it or not, was I went out in my house and I exercised. And I was pumping iron today, brother, if you can't tell. <laughs> I know you can tell this. <laughs> That's for you, Dr. Moyle. <laughs> I want to see yours, brother, straight up. Thank you. Um, so I go online and what do I want? I wanted more weights. So I go to order more weights. And when you know it, there's a backlog now that if you want to order dumbbells, barbells, home gym equipment, there's a four to eight week wait on it minimum. Now, if we talk about opportunity, what Dr. Kaplan mentioned, which to me resonates so powerfully, is the simple fact that you, doctors, doctors, are in the prime position, the prime position right now, to be able to stand up, to step up, and to do the right thing. I'll give you an example. This week, if you watched our email, I sent out an email blast two days ago. And it actually came, believe it or not, from a doctor who happens to be on the front lines in New York City. He's a medical physician. And this doctor, his name's Dr. Jay Lombard, for those of you who are wondering who he is, featured the only medical doctor in the, in the Doctor Success Spotlight book. Because he's a functional medicine specialist, but he is on the front lines with the NIH. And the NIH, for those of you who don't know, is the National Institute of Health. So what he did, very interesting, was he gave kind of a 
allopathic to-do list. Yet at the same time, the same time, there were things that jumped out on that list that stood out that are specific to chiropractors, specific to what we do, specific to how we as a whole, as a group, and individually have the ability to do something amazing now. So with respect to action steps, let's talk a little bit about action steps. And Dr. K, and for those of you who don't know, um, that's how I refer to Dr. Kaplan as Dr. K. Dr. K, would you review with our audience of the masses here tonight, what happened today with respect to the letter that Jason put on his website and how that was implemented? Well, not, not only we put a letter on his website, which, which was implemented, but we offered our patients a book, which we do for our clients on COVD and prevention. Uh, we've also actually been very proactive on offense in marketing on Facebook. Uh, and that's been very effective. We, he's had nine leads in the last five days. See, let me explain to you something, doctors, so that you know this. The coronavirus will eventually go away. They will offer certain drugs. They will offer certain vaccines. But let me tell you what will not go away with the coronavirus. Back pain, neck pain, sciatica, disc injuries. They will not go away. Now is your time to position yourself as a community leader. You see, again, you can be proactive or reactive. On, on this thing is a guy I went to college with, actually. I was his resident advisor, Scott Banks. And Scott, you know I love you, wrote a book on functional medicine. What is it? Scott, I might give the title wrong. You can give it later. Functional medicine for dummies. But you see, we as chiropractors, is there a better time for functional medicine? Uh, even if you look at the protocols that are coming out of New York, zinc gluconate. I mean, vitamin C are, are very imperative components to the healing of the corona or to the prophylactic component of the coronavirus. Who should be the leader in educating the world on nutrition better than us? No one better than you, Scott. Thank you know, you. when I see a guy like you, Dr. Kern, or, oh, hold on, you know, who, who, who changes the world one page at a time. And then you have a guy who's on here as well, Dr. Carrie Gerges. Now, Dr. Gerges is a true hero. He was a guy who drove an ambulance. Didn't even know if he wanted to stay in chiropractic anymore. You know, so here he is, you know, on this. He has nine decompression tables. He's admired by the whole community. But see, what I'm saying is a subluxation becomes a bulge and a bulge becomes a herniation. So let's look at it. What, what is the difference between the subluxation, the treatment of, the bulge and the treatment of, and the herniation? Well, the subluxation is the essence or the beginning or the genesis of everything that we do. And that we know that if we can remove a subluxation, we can improve the immunity of a patient. We have the studies. We have the Perot study. We have other studies that we can go into. Now, when you take that study and you combine it with now that we have the ability to recognize the subluxation, improve the immunity system, recognize if there's a bulge or herniation, and know how to treat it. Perfect example. One of the best adjusters in the United States is on this thing. His name is Dr. Bill Moyle. Bill is not an average adjuster. He is above average. I said yesterday, what is average? Average is the best of the worst, the worst of the best. If I was sick and I need an adjustment, with the exception of my son and Perry Bard, but Will, you're, you're in my Fab Five, but I'm going to tell you, Nobody's going to give me a better adjustment than Bill Moyle. Nobody's going to be more loving, more caring, more conscientious. Bill Moyle has never, I don't care what anybody says, he's never done this for the money. Bill does this because he loves to give and he loves to serve. And Carrie Gerges, you're the same way. And Kern, you're the same way. And Michael McPherson, my goal is for you to become the same way. To understand that you're not just a chiropractor doing chiropractic, you're a healer. You know, imagine when I was in a hospital a week ago today, the true, if, if, if you went to 9-11, the, the heroes were the first responders. But, you know, what about the doctors? So, you know, you're saying the chiropractic, 
I have chiropractors. Do I keep my office open? Do I lower it? I want to ask a question. If you were a medical doctor, if you were a surgeon, are you allowed to just go home and sit in the backyard and go on the internet? Or do you have to be out there right now servicing your population? My medical doctor, my internist, he came to the hospital every day to visit me. You don't think that meant the world to me? He has to walk into a hospital, germ central doctors, right? Let's call a spade a spade. And he came in every day, twice a day, to see how I was doing and how I was feeling. You see, that to me is dedication. So I ask you, are you doing this for the money? Are you doing this for the love of service? I've always said, you know, did I choose to be a chiropractor or did the chiropractor choose me? Do I do this for the money? I mean, why am I here tonight? Seven days post-surgery. I love chiropractic. You know, and I always said, when I did the commencement address at New York Chiropractic College, one thing I said to all the graduates is I said, if you're always chasing money, you're a slave. If you can teach money how to follow you, you become the master. So I'm saying to you doctors, now is a chance to master who you are. Now is a chance to be a hero, not a zero, to be a winner, not a whiner. I mean, this is your chance to step up, educate community to who you are and what you do. You do more than move bones. Because every time that you move a bone, I don't listen. You know, I, I broke it down to two types of patients. You could say you have acute patients and you can say you have chronic patients. You know, and, and we never get paid for maintenance patients. But you, you know, what I say, see, what, what a lot of people in the old the old seminars would say, they would do the knee to knee. Oh. We know what's causing your problem, we can correct it. Well, I guarantee you, everybody on this call is subluxated. I guarantee you, if I, if I palpated you, if I muscle tested you, I find the subluxate. So we don't correct, we control and we contain. And see, that's the beauty of what we do. And you have patients out there that saying, should I come in, should I not come in? Well, you know what, if you wanna lead, let them know that you are there for them and let them know that you can build their immunity system and let them know that you have immune boosters. And anyone that wants the letter, we will give you a number at the end. I'll give you the letter that we wrote for all of our clients. This is a chime for you doctors as a chiropractor to go back to your roots because a subluxation will become a bulge, a bulge will become a herniation, but it all begins with the subluxation. And this, by removing the subluxation, we increase the patient's ability to fight off the coronavirus. Gary? So, let me ask you a question, doctors. Are you loving this? <laughs> I mean, come on, are you loving this? I don't know. I'm loving this, and I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm loving this because this is such an important time in your life, in your career, in your future. And the same can be true of all your patients. This is the most important time in their life, in their health, in their future. And there are things that you can do right now to be able to raise your game. The purpose of tonight, simple, is we want you to raise your game. So here's my suggestion. This is new for us. This is a new format. If you dig it and you like it, you could send us an email on it, but I'm gonna do something now. I'm gonna do two things right now. Two, two and two. Number one, I'm gonna give you our email address. I'm actually gonna give you my personal email address. And here's the reason why. The reason why is because there's gonna be some things that we're gonna talk about. And if you want direct access to these as our gift, there's no opt-in, doesn't cost you a penny. You don't have to do anything. Just send us an email and say three words. I want that. <laughs> I want that. that. No, actually, it's going to be more than three words because we're going to have to tell us what you want because there's some things that we're going to talk about that you may want. So number one, here's the email. Write it down. Ready? New, N-E-W, patient, P-A-T-I-E-N-T. Now, N O W, new patient now at AOL.com. Write that email down right now. Number one. Number two, 
If we have time tonight, what I would love to do, if possible, is I'm going to open up the floor to the doctors. And if you want to ask a question tonight, I will unmute you. And when I unmute you, we can bring you into the conversation. All right. And I'll give you an example. One of the great doctors, great doctors. Oh my gosh. Talk about a giver. Let me see if I could find him. I know he's here. Oh my gosh. Well, his name's Dr. Brandon Manson from Hudson, New York. And what Dr. Manson did this week, well, all I can tell you is there's a lot of doctors on this that are reaping the rewards, reaping the benefits. Well, I'm going to share something with you. That came from the incredible Dr. Brandon Manson, who wanted us to proof, in essence, a packet of information that he sent to his patients. And it was fantastic. So we want to acknowledge Dr. Manson because, as the old saying goes, a candle never loses its flame. You've heard it before by lighting another candle. Well, Dr. Manson, you are a star. We're so honored you are part of our inner circle of doctors. We are so honored that you are part of our family, as is true of so many doctors on this video conference tonight. And uh, can't say thank you enough. Think about exponentially. You know, people always ask Dr. Kaplan and myself, and they say, gee, do you know how many lives you guys touch? You know, do you know how many back surgeries you save? Do you know how many epidural injections you're saving patients from, opioid injections? by educating doctors on the benefits of non-surgical spinal decompression, the benefits of being a nerve doctor, a joint doctor, when I say a joint doctor, a shoulder specialist, knee specialist, but really, at the end of the day, being a disc specialist. And uh, I guess Dr. Kaplan would say that, uh, you, know, uh, you know, if you go back and read your old press clippings, <laughs> well, we're not here to read our old press clippings. We're here to make new history. And that's why if you're a baseball player, you never look at your stats. We just don't do that. We're just in the moment, we're in the game, we're moving forward, we're, all our doctors are moving forward because these are disc specialists that at the end of the day are chiropractors. Now, one of the amazing things that just happened yesterday was this, and I don't know if you saw it, he is also featured with Dr. Moyle, and also featured with Dr. Lombard in the Dr. Success Spotlight book. And we're not selling the book, but if you wanted to know what the book was, here it is. <laughs> There's a doctor in the book. His name is Dr. Marty Kotler. Many of you know who he is. Some of you don't. Well, what Marty did yesterday, I've always been a big fan of Dr. Kotler's going back many, many, many years ago. So much so that we had to invite him as one of the 18 best chiropractors on the planet. And he does something special. He educates doctors on how to get reimbursed properly. But he did something special. He's been doing this for years. And he's the master of coding. He's the master of CPT. He's really the master of ICD. And, um, you know, he's been, he's been a confidant to us for so many years. Well, yesterday he did something special. What he did yesterday was he did a webinar and he taught doctors on this webinar about an important word that you're going to get to know really well. And it's called telehealth. And if you don't know it, telehealth in essence is your ability as a doctor to be able to communicate, to help, to guide, to educate, to assist and to heal your patients electronically. He talked about codes. He talked about forms. He talked about process. And he did it in this really incredible webinar. And I asked him as a gift, I said to, to Dr. Kotler, I said, you know, we're doing a video conference for our doctors, first time ever, Dr. Kaplan and myself. Would it be okay if I shared the direct link to your webinar so our doctors who are on this video conference could learn about telehealth and the proper way to be compliant, to do it right, to make it efficient, to make it effective, and to make it profitable, and to make it successful for your patients, to give your patients access to you? And he said, of course, emphatically, yes. So if you email us at newpatientnow at AOL.com, 
we'll send you a direct link to Dr. Kotler's webinar. Again, nothing for sale, just a beautiful training for doctors right now that have access to this information. And we kind of wanted tonight to be in that format. And in that regard, what I would ask Dr. Kaplan is this. Now, it's very funny because, you know, that old saying, gee, if you live long enough, you'll see it all. And these are special times, but with special times come special, special opportunities. And what I would love for you, Dr. Kaplan, to share is in essence, maybe a little bit as to if you, if you were in practice right now, what would you do? What would be, which is really a reiteration of what we spoke about yesterday, but it would resonate it so much with the doctors that I think it was so vital that there's so many doctors on this video conference that didn't hear this yesterday. What would you be doing now with, with your team, specifically your staff? How would you be addressing your communication and how would you be empowering your staff right now? You know, Perry, I've always said, winners don't have a positive attitude because they win. They win because they have a positive attitude. Uh, from the early time in chiropractic, I always treated my staff. I gave them adjustments for free. I would want their family to come in. You see, you know, I was, you know, I've been in this business 40 years. And I remember 40 years ago, I went and I heard a speaker who could have been one of the best speakers in the history of chiropractic by the name of Reggie Gold. For those of you who don't know the name, look it up. He probably gave the best healthcare lecture I've ever heard in my life. And I remember going home and it was Thanksgiving and my family was at the Thanksgiving table and I was so excited. I started talking about the talk that Reggie Gold gave. And I, I tried to quote him, but I misquoted him. You have a brain on a nerve and the brain, it's the biggest thing in the world. And it, it, it runs the cycle, and my family looked at me like I was nuts. But you know what? I was hooked. I was hooked onto the velocity of chiropractic that I will take to my grave one day as I sit here today. You see, if you as a doctor can't portray confidence to your staff, then they cannot portray it to their patients. By you showing to your, up to your office, portrays confidence. By you adjusting them, portrays confidence. By you inviting them into your off your family, portrays confidence. So I would, I would, listen, I would go to the hospital, to the hospital administrator and say, any doctors and nurses, they can come to my office, I'll give them three free visits. I'd go to the police station, I'd go to the fire station. I would go out to every area in my community and saying, this is what I would do. This is what I would do to my staff. You know, listen, doctors, you know, as we become a business, you know, the, the, the philosophy has become diluted. And what I'm saying is, do you, my question to you people, do you believe in the power of the chiropractic adjustment? Have, have you ever had an adjustment and not felt different? Have you ever not felt something changed within your body? You know, now is the time more than ever that you need to get people in and, and, you know, touch for health. I mean, that's the way it is to bring them in and explain to them chiropractic. Because let me tell you something, if we live in fear and we show, you know, a dog is an amazing thing. A dog can smell fear. If you go to pet a dog and you look and he thinks you're scared, he'll pull away. He'll pull away. But you know what? What I'm saying to you is a dog is also very, very smart. But so is a patient. If you show fear, they can smell your fear. What I'm saying is, here's a chance, an opportunity, opportunity, doctors, for you to be the heroes of the community, for you to be the heroes of your community. Because I'm going to explain to you something. I say to every person out there, if you were a medical doctor, if you were a surgeon, could you stay home and watch the internet and say, oh, I don't think I want to go in today. It's too risky. If you were a cardiologist and someone had a heart attack, you'd have to be there. I mean, listen, I'd have my gallbladder removed a week ago today. I don't want to be at the hospital. My doctor sure didn't want to be at the hospital. The nurse didn't want to be at the hospital. The anesthesiologist didn't want to be at the hospital. 
But you know what? They were there. And because of that, they, they removed me from having pancreatitis and then having septicemia. The point is, those to me are the heroes. No different than the first responders 9-11. Let us chiropractors be the first responders. And that's why I'm doing this tonight. Listen, I'm seven days post-surgery. I'm going to be frank with you. I have no desire to be here tonight. It's a long day. I'm rehabbing every day trying to get myself back. But you know what? In my lifetime, I've given my life to chiropractic. And I'm not going to let chiropractors sit on the side. I'll give you an example. We might have 50 doctors on this tonight because that's all Zoom will allow. But here's my question. There should be a thousand. Where are all the chiropractors tonight? They could be sitting there. They're going to be whining about, oh, my statistics are down. My practice is down. You know, you know, why me? Why me? Well, you know what? The point is, that's not a good attitude. You can either be a winner or a whiner, a hero or a zero, a lover or a loner. You know, and you have to see the future. Listen. If Alexander didn't hear the bell, where would we be? If Columbus, okay, thought the earth was round, where would we be? Okay, if Galileo was scared of the dark, where would we be? This is our chance to be the pioneers of our profession. Who's the next leader of our profession? Who's going to take chiropractic to the level that we were? Do you want to just be a bone mover or do you want to be a mover and a shaker? Winners win, doctors. Regardless of the environment, I played college basketball on a full scholarship, okay? When the going gets tough, the cup gets going. Who wants a guy that folds in sports? Do you want to be up at the plate with the bases loaded, two outs, and, and millions of people in the stands? Well, you know what, doctors? That's where you're at right now. The bases are loaded. They're loaded with people that are scared. They're loaded with people that are in fear. They're loaded with people that don't know where to go. So I'm saying to you, do you want to be on the plate or do you want to sit in the dugout and root for someone else? I'm here tonight rooting for you, Bill. Rooting for you, Kent. Rooting for you, Bill Buker, from the great state of Arizona. Jamie, Jamie, Jeffrey Curtis, Scott Banks, my hero. I mean, I'm rooting Dan Weymouth. What a great letter you sent out today, Dan. Dan, I read everything. Michael McPherson, I'm so proud of you tonight. I mean, this is your chance, doctors. Graham Kern, you know, I love you. I love your wife. I love your daughter, Ed Buena Donna, you know, a local guy who understands what I'm going through. If anybody knows, his wife had his gallbladder removed. If I violated HIPAA, hit me. What do I care? The point that I'm saying is, you doctors, here is a chance for you to make a difference in your community. And Bill Moyle, the great bone mover that you are, and I know it, Scott Banks, the great functional medicine guy that you are, guys. This is your chance to take your game to the next level. You want to be in triple A, or do you want to move up to the majors? Well, if you want to move up to the majors, you have to pay the price. And I'm going to finish this with, with Ken Hagen. Ken, love your jogging suit, baby. I want one. Perry. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you that I, I, take, I take full, full responsibility here in the simple fact that I think if you know, if you followed us and, and um, if you, obviously there's a lot of new doctors on here. You can go to conciergecoaches.com. You can learn about it um, if you want to know more about it. But the reality was if you follow us and you know that, that usually when we do a webinar, I'll send out like three, four, five notices. And, and that's why we get like mega, mega people to webinars. Well, today, because of the urgency, the immediacy, and what's happened in the past 24 hours when Dr. Kaplan and I did this yesterday and it resonated so well and so much that, that I only sent this out this morning. So it almost feels a little bit private here, but guess what? That's okay, you're here for a reason. You didn't just fall out of bed. You had to jump through some hoops in your life and your career and your studies and your academia and your licensing and in business to be here. And I tell you that to remind you to remind you doctors, always, always, if you take nothing, take this. And that is you were called for a reason. If you're like me and you're like Dr. Kaplan, you were chosen. The C in chiropractic is for being chosen. Now you might say, gee, I didn't know he was so, he's so 
philosophical. I thought he's like the ultimate, like MDDC guy. <laughs> he's the integrated guy from ever. You look at our children, both my children, never a shot, never a pill, never a drug. My purpose, my intent, my goal, and my life's mission has always been to turn more people on to what we do as chiropractors and to lower the bar and to lower the threshold that they could step over so we as a group can affect way more than 8%, way more than 10%, way more than 12%. And that's why the coolest thing is being a disc doctor. And that's why we love being disc specialists. We love being able to grab all those patients that were considering an epidural injection, considering a microdiscectomy, a laminectomy, a spinal fusion, a foraminotomy, looking at metal in their back, and taking these patients into our universe and giving them a much more viable option based upon medical technology known as non-surgical spinal decompression. I don't know if you know this, but there are many doctors on this conference right now that have had the pleasure to attend something that was created in 2012, which is the National Spinal Decompression Certification Program. Well, guess what? That curriculum was written by Dr. Kaplan. And if there was ever a time ever a time that this became in vogue, if this ever became time sensitive, trust me, there are people home right now and their backs are killing them. They've got radiculopathy. They've got amazing numbness, tingling, pins and needles. They have piercing, sharp pain, dull pain, you name it. Their back is on fire and they're scared. And the worst part is, the worst part is they don't know in essence what's next. So it's your job as a doctor to lift them, to raise them, to empower them and to give them strategies and tools. And a lot of that, believe it or not, a lot of that can happen in a video or a text or an email or a phone call and more. So. We gave our email before, newpatientnow at AOL.com. Number one, if you want the letter to give to your patients, that's our gift to you. Number two, number two, if you want direct access to the telehealth webinar that I mentioned previously from Dr. Marty Kotler, I loved it. I will send you, I will send you that link as well. You know, it's very interesting, very interesting that there are doctors on this webinar, um, forgive me, on this video conference that have always put to the wayside, always kind of protected, if you will, kind of um, held in abeyance, if you will, the fact that they were nutritionists. And what I mean by that is that there are doctors that can talk to you forever in a day about ways to improve your immunity, to ways to improve your cellular health, ways to empower yourself correctly. And I'd love to talk a little bit about one thing tonight that jumped out at us. Actually, it came, it came in, I want to say about three hours ago. And Dr. Kaplan made me privy to this. And this is the, you know, you want to see my life? This is my life. My life is kind of being in the middle of all these great doctors that are giving and sharing and showing. And these guys are multi-million dollar players. I mean, these are the biggest doctors in the country. And they feel, Dr. Mike Smith, I mean, that was phenomenal what you did, incredible. We're so thankful and so happy for that. Well, there was something that came across my desk and it jumped out at me right away. And I'm gonna share it with you. But I'd love for Dr. Kaplan to talk a little bit about it. And what it was is in the direction of exactly what we were speaking about, immunity, cellular health, nutrition, because this is your world, doctors. This is your party, and now it's time to step up. And there was something that came across that like hit me like, like an anvil. <laughs> and it was called, in essence, it was modeled. It was modeled after something known as the z pack Now, if you're not familiar with the z pack you're about to learn a little bit about the z pack in terms of what it is as an antibiotic, and in essence, how there's a natural alternative 
in chiropractic, in nutrition, that came across our desk a few hours ago. Dr. K, can you share a little bit about the z -Pack and in terms of the ability now for us as chiropractors to kind of change the momentum, change the pendulum a little bit about how this is a great opportunity as a nutritionist to be able to take advantage of this for our patients. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very specific in what I'm gonna tell you now. The world as we know it will never be the same. Please understand that. No different than prior to 9-11, we did not have security in the airports. People will be germaphobic from this day forward. And you, as a doctor, have to make a decision. You see, I'm not just telling you to be the best. I'm telling you to do your best, to give it your best effort. So working with a doctor by the name of Tim Cameron, who's one of our nutritional gurus, like Dr. Scott Banks, okay, is we developed this, we, we have an, a company that developed this CPAC. It's, it's a nutraceutical packet that they will take every day. You see, prophylactically, doctors, do you know, I don't know if you know this, doctors, why do dogs not get the coronavirus? Because they produce their own vitamin C. So what we've done is we've created, uh, actually we didn't, there's a company, and we'll give you the company. And we'll send this out to every single one of you that you can provide to your patients. To our doctors, we have a report on how to prevent the coronavirus. Why do we have the biggest doctors in, in the country? I think it's for one reason we care. I mean, when I look at statistics, and, and I'm telling you, Scotty, the New York authorities who kept records of reportable disease showed that under chiropractic care, only 25 patients died of influenza, event, influenza virus out of 10,000 cases, and only 100 patients died of pneumonia out of 10,000 cases. Now, compared to the medical profession, where there was 950 deaths. I mean, these are um, um, amazing numbers. Pneumonia, under medical care, there were 6,400 deaths. Under chiropractic care, there were 100 deaths. The same epidemic for the chiropractic in Oklahoma treated 3,490 cases of influenza with only seven deaths. But the best part of this is Oklahoma, there is clear record showing that chiropractors were called in 233 cases where medical doctors had care for the patients and finally gave them. practice saved all those lost cases, but 25. 25 out of 233. See, this is where we came from. This is what, what B.J. Palmer talked about. This is what built our profession. We were not built upon this pain. We were built upon how to improve the immunity, how to handle subluxation. And you know what? Listen, I've been to all the consultants in America. Who's out there now? I'm one week post-surgery selling nothing here tonight for chiropractic, saying, guys, why are we here? What are you doing? You don't think I have better things to do in my life than to sit here and talk to you? But you know what? The point that I'm saying is I don't want to just be the best. I want to be the best me I can be. I want you to make a difference. I want you to go out there and educate your patients. I want you to get back to your purpose. Why did you become a chiropractic or why did chiropractic choose you? Why are you here tonight? You have other things to do. The point is you're here for a reason. You're here for the reason that you want to be better. And that's why people come to Florida. That's why people come to the event. You want to hear more of this? You want to see how to take your practice next level? You want to see how to add cash to your practice? Listen, do you want to be a joint? If you want to be a joint, doctors, the, the joint is not for the people that are here on this call. This is for the anti-joint people. This is the people that want to make a difference. And listen, it starts with the subluxation, but a subluxation progresses to a bulge, which progresses to a herniation. This is your chance to make a difference. This is your chance to look at research. This is your chance to look at the Perot study. Everything that I do, everybody will tell you, anyone on this call will tell you, I am a research fanatic. Why? Because research proves the validity of chiropractic care. Research shows that chiropractic care increases the immunity by 200%. Well, I'm going to tell you something. My son came over the other night. He adjusted me. Why? Give me all the... I just came out of the hospital with the sickest people in the, in the, in the community. 
I don't want to get the, the coronavirus. I want to die having sex with my wife from a heart attack. That's how I want to die. They'll say he was great in bed, but he had a heart attack at the last moment. But you know what? My wife will die happy. I'll die happy. And that's the way the world is. I mean, I don't want to die from a virus in a, in a, in a bed in a hospital saying, oh, he was a good doctor, but, you know, was he that good? Doctors, get out there, man. Do something. Educate your patients. Treat your staff. Bring their family in. You know, you're in the office anyway. What the heck? Go after the policeman. Go after the firemen. The letter that we will send to you, get it to everybody. Put it on your website. You know, that's what we're here doing. You know, like I said, th th there's always three things, three types of people. Those that make things happen, those that watch things happen, and those that say what happened. And you know what? A lot of things are happening now. You know, whether you're political or not, what I love about President Trump, and, and I've worked with the family for over 20 years, every day he's in there fighting. Doesn't need the money. You think he's doing this for the money? Doesn't need the money. And yet, you talk about a crazy presidency, you have to deal with the coronavirus. The coronavirus to me is comparable to World War III. We are a country at war. In my life of 67 and three quarter years, never do I remember being isolated. Never do I remember being in this position. But I know that if I was in chiropractic school, I'd be at the clinic getting adjusted because I had so embraced the philosophy. Where over the last 40 years did so many people lose that love of philosophy and became bone movers? So what I'm saying to you, doctors, is, you know, winners make a difference. And I'm telling you, make a difference. Let's take chiropractic next level. Let's hold hands. Okay. I got an award. I'm going to share it. <laughs> I'm a thumbs up guy. This was given to me in Parker University. Okay. I'm saying to you guys, let's, let's make a difference. Come on. Let's help these people. If you don't, who will? If you don't, here you go, Billy Bob. If you don't, who will? You woke up there, you were getting a little sleepy. If you don't, who will? Let's make a difference. Because other chiropractors are doing this. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. What am I going to do? Why are you taking this professor to do this? Mommy! Mommy! Not me, baby. <laughs>